So this morning in our gospel, we continue to hear the language of Jesus sending the disciples, um, his great commission, which has been going on for the last several weeks, and the ideas that he is laying forth about how they should be in the world when he's no longer here with them. And basically, it's about do what I do, say what I say, act like I act, Um, which, as we all know, is trickier than one might think. Um, There is a song that I love called Words, and I am blanking on who actually sings it, but I love there's a line in it to paraphrase that says, basically, let every word I speak point to you. And I think what a powerful testimony that can be. We often think that um, to be a disciple, to um, preach about the gospel, the good news, um, the love of Jesus Christ and God for the world, that we have to have some amazing act. We have to be bigger than life. It has to be a grand gesture or book or something really spectacular. And yet... I don't know about you, but I have often seen God in such small acts of kindness. We heard in our psalm today that God is kind. And I think that often kindness is a place where we truly do feel that love coming from God through another person. And so I've been thinking this week about where in my life have I had examples of this. And one of the most powerful testimonies for me was um, when my mother died unexpectedly. Um, It's been almost, it'll be nine years at the end of this month. And um, what ended up happening is she died unexpectedly, and my friends really rallied around me in a remarkable way. I was a single mother of an elementary school kid, a middle school kid, and a high schooler. And my mom had been living with us, and um, there there was no one else. I was also in seminary full-time. I was doing 30 hours a week at the hospital for my clinical pastoral education. I was working four part-time jobs just to make ends meet. It was an intense time, I got to tell you. And the other adult that lived with us was suddenly gone. And my friends and neighbors were remarkable. And I know they kept saying, it's nothing, it's nothing. But they would do things like in the mornings when I had extra time after the kids got off to school, they would take turns coming and sitting with me and drinking a cup of coffee on my back deck or our front porch. And we would just be silent. And it was that sense of not being alone. I think that's such a powerful testimony of God. That sometimes our actions point as surely to God as our words do. And then I had the very humbling experience of our neighbors for six months. Someone would appear every Sunday afternoon with a grocery bag. And in it would be three lunches for the five days of the coming week so that I didn't have to pack lunch for my kids, which seems like not that big a deal. But if you, if you've had to pack lunch, you know, like it gets, it's hard and it gets really like, what are we having now? Um, it was such a, again, a humbling thing. And they would say, we're already making lunch for our own kids. What's like three more? It's not a big deal. It's a bag of chips. It's peanut butter and jelly. But it was so powerful. It was God showing up. It was Jesus saying, here's your cup of water. Right? We hear like that cup of water can make a difference. And so I want us to remember, think about the times in your life where somebody has done something um, that has been just so meaningful. Somebody has like, as you're taking your groceries out of the car, has said, oh, let me take your cart. I'll put it away for you. Don't, you know, it's fine. I'll take care of that. Or you drop something and somebody you don't know scoops and picks it up and hands it to you. Or... um, when we're out and about in the world and somebody just sees us and smiles and says hello. 
it's that sense of it's Jesus, right? It's our testimony. It's our ability to show up. It's what we're called to do. It's how we're made. It's part of showing up here on Sundays, right? We come because, of course, the music is beautiful. And thank you, Tish, for being our our organist during Tom's um, time away. Um, It's the beautiful spaces. It's the songs that we love and the lessons. And I would say even more than that, it's the people. We show up because we see God in this space in one another, and we experience that. And so, you know I love to offer the the homework for the week. What I want to encourage you to do is to think about where in your life have you had these small experiences where you have been pointed to God? Something that has just lifted you, carried you, shifted you. And what might you do this week to be someone who's doing the pointing? To just be a ripple. It does not have to be a tsunami. It does not even have to be a big wave. A ripple. A ripple can make all of the difference And because of its gentleness, sometimes can be more powerful than the great big grand thing. So I would love to know, as you've moved through this week, not only how you are experiencing Jesus through others, how folks are showing up as the hands and the hearts and the eyes and the kindness and the love, but how maybe you've done one little bit of that yourself. There's a lot of big work that needs to happen. You know, we, we talk about the freedom that exists in our country, 4th of July. We're so grateful. The point is, though, what are we doing with that freedom? How are we making sure that it's freedom for everyone? And that radical justice recognizes that some people still are not experiencing a just and merciful world. And so what are we going to do to help shift that with our voices and our hands and our hearts? Because we are all God's beloved, every single one of us, and we are made in God's image. And as we know from Genesis, God blessed us and said we are good. And we need to remember that with each other and to offer that, especially in the times and the places where it may be lacking. So please, as you do these things, I would love to hear your stories because they are so inspiring. They really fill us up, and it's a beautiful testimony not only to do the things, but then to share the experiences of that. And so I hope this week, not only are you moving through the world knowing that you are a blessing, but that you are also doing the blessing. Amen.